Hello everybody, Not Your Average Gaming Joe, and we're back at it today with MLB The Show 2014 with our boy Slim Jim. Where we've been, last time we played the prospect game, we got drafted by the Los Angeles Angels, and currently we're in the minor league. So far we're in the double A, working our way up to possibility triple A or the majors if we get called up so that's gonna be the game plan is to get called up and I'm hoping that happens MLB The Show's Tour of the Miners takes us to the South Central region of the United States and a stop here in the Texas League. Tonight, the finale of this four-game set. Johnny Kasizak makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for right. baseball. What we got here? They want us to throw a change up. We're going to give it right at them. And we kick things off tonight with a swing and a miss for a first pitch strike as we're underway. Four seeing fastball got a pretty darn good right down the middle. Here's a fastball now that swung on and missed, and he looks sharp to start the night. It's 0-2. And top right corner. Got him in that 0-2 count. First strikeout in the game. First out of the contest. And there are his numbers from last time out. He comes off a victory in that performance. Oh, he's got a nine-game hitting streak. We're going to change that up for him because that's not going to last. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. Doing a good job right there of tying him up inside. Got in on his hands that time before he could get that barrel through the zone. Oh, late one ball, one I thought strike. for sure that was going to be inside. And now he turns on a fastball here and sends it to fairly deep right field. Better be caught. Holder. Back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. You know, that's the thing with throwing a fastball. It's looking pretty good so far. Does. It makes fly balls travel that much farther off the bat. And this thing gets out there a long ways before it finally gets tracked down. Throwing one to the bottom left corner. Reardon said the plate now as he looks at strike one. We want to change up right in that corner. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Oh, no, I threw it to the wrong guy. Damn it. I have the worst tendency. The, the controls are backwards in this game. I don't know why they just are. the error, he's got to be careful out there on the mound. Yeah, I mean, it's tough to let errors go as it is. but The controls are backwards. Way tougher. You feel like you need to make amends on your own. So, like, for example... First base is square. In any other game, it's the circle. I don't know why, but it's just how this game is. And this is on the ground toward the hole. Throw on the first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all. As the inning is over, so it's no runs. So we had an error. <clears throat> we had an error, but that's okay. DJ Schmoll will stand in, and boy, look at that batting average to start off the month of April. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. Well, you got to figure that this guy's going to come out here free and easy here in the second. He's got a three-run cushion already. No reason not to come right after these guys. Now here's a swing. No! What am I doing? Throw the first will be in time. Oh, my goodness. Start the second. And as a pitcher, you always have to remember that once you let go of the pitch, you've got to become an infielder. Here's a guy that fields his position well, so he's in great position to spear this thing and then get the easy out at first. Kevin Batista is in with one away now as he swings and misses. All right, we got him in that 0-2 pitch count. Definitely getting the best of this matchup as he fires another fastball past him for strike two. 0-2 pitch is swung on and lifted in the air to right field. And two quick outs here in the second. 
Damian Boston will stand in for the first time now. And boy, look at these numbers the last seven games. He's as hot as anyone in baseball. Right there for strike one. It's just looking pretty no good so far. Pull the trigger on that one. It just got on him too fast. Hey, see you in the uh, Bases are empty here with two men out. Strike him out. Gonna yeah, throw it down the left corner. I miss him. He's really getting miss. the better of him now. Oh, I'll take a look two. at that one. Ah, that thing's knee high on the outside third of the plate. Pretty understandable why he couldn't catch up with that. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will. Kevin McCoy will stand on change up. We're gonna throw a change up from the loss last night. He was 0 for 4 in that ball game. And the third inning begins with a, a really good one. That misses, it's a ball and no strikes. And the 1 0 is sent out to straightaway center field. One away here to begin the third. Not looking too bad. And as we showed you in the open, he's out there putting his perfect record on the line. And so far, these guys haven't shown many signs that they're ready to put a one in that loss column. Brian Lopez will stand in. He's got that average pushing up near 300 to start the new season. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Oh. oh, and he had him guessing there, and it's a ball and a strike. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch. And they had him fooled pretty good on that one. A good action. We got it. There, and it's, it's a one-two two. pitch count. Yeah, bottom left. I mean, bottom right corner. Even if fastball. That might just be a really Caught him looking. Fastball strikes the recall as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Swing and a hard hit ball Ooh. towards the hole. And that's he threaded the needle, so had a good opportunity right there. Pat Hall will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Another fastball. This one he gets by him. It's one and one. Doing a good job. Okay, one and one pitch count. Throwing the change up. Ooh. That's not looking good either. Base hit. All right, you're up. You're up. Kenny Reardon. We'll stand in with runners at the corners now as he looks for a third straight two-out hit here in the inning to maybe get him a run after all. Now a ground ball towards the hole. Oh, he almost had a bad throw right there. They almost gave up a run. Wyatt McClory will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. First pitch of the inning ah, is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. oh, much too tardy on the fastball. 1-1. One and, one. and sometimes you got to cut down a little stride against a guy who's throwing this hard. Either you take that leg kick completely out of the equation, or you get it started just a little bit quicker. And this is a swing and a miss on a ball in the dirt as they'll need to throw down to first. And he will get there at first, so he reaches on the drop third strike. DJ Schmoll will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. So far, it's not looking good for our pitcher. We got to get a little bit better. I had two costly, well, one costly error in the beginning, and then just... They were able to get two good hits. They just Boy, threatened just Needle. Dominated that at bat right there. You want to see a power pitcher go right through a guy? This is a three pitch. See you later, right here. Have a seat. Kevin Batista will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Romine. On hey, the we got a double play. Double play to get him out Beautiful. Of the Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Back with more Monday I'll take a replay. Baseball. Following pretty cool. Damian Boston will make his way towards the box Leading to lead the off the fifth. Now a fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. 
The two seam fastball thrown in the corner. Fifth inning work. Not much of a concern. Got that zero two pitch count. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real. Gonna go a little bit to the outside. Let's see if we get him. Fastball swung out and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Kevin McCoy will try it again. He flew out his first time. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Boy, he has been a first strike throwing machine. That's going to be a he? ball. He's hardly Ooh. been behind in the count all game long. Yeah, we're going to throw that four seam. Another as he jumps Let's see if we get him. Now. And we do. As well. So the bottom of the order providing a little resistance here. And there are two away. Two strikeouts so far. It's Ryan looking pretty good. Lopez. Will stand in here hoping to at least put a ball in play here this inning. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Boy, he may strike out the side on oh, nine oh, we got Seven we got a gift from go. the up change up. That's gonna be a ball. Oh three batters up, three batters down. So add one more name to the Johnny Kasizak will come forward now to start out there. So half we're officially of the in the sixth inning. Sailing against this starter it's looking so pretty good. Far as he's yielded just two hits through the first five. Not too many hard hit balls there either. He's had them off balance all game. Big swing and a miss at the fastball. And he's behind in the count 0 and 2. And we're going to try to get him on that fastball, which would probably be a ball. Yep. Outside, he's really hitting his spots well. Now a big swing as this is popped up. And I mean way up there toward the right side of the infield. And this is taken in for out number one. And I'll tell you, I like the way he's handling himself out there. Going after guys. So far, we got one out. We got two more batters. What the hell was that? First, as they can't make the play on him. Kenny Reardon. Are you kidding me? Like so many others, hitless in the ball game so far. Wow. It's like seriously, what are you doing? Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Now out at second base, you'd like nothing more than to get another ground ball. Maybe get a double play to help out your pitcher. One and two. He's ready now. The pitch. And he rings up another one. All right. Two batters. Got two batters so far. Wyatt McClory will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. Now a fastball to start things out. Didn't miss by a lot, but it's 1-0. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2-0. Yeah, he, he's looked at two close pitches. You get the feeling that this is the calm before the storm. I think he'll unload on this one if this thing is All anywhere right. near the zone. 2-1 two pitch is a fastball swung on it. 2-2 two, two pitch down. Very difficult Let's try to get him. Top of the pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough. That's gonna to be a stay ball. And we'll oh, we there. got the strike. This is strike three, and that will retire. We got out time. of it. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up. I'll be surprised if we're pitching DJ in the eight. Schmoll will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Swinging on the first pitch as the inning gets underway with the top of the first. Here we go. One batter up. One batter down. For the first out. Kevin Batista will dig in. He's flown out and hit into That's a double a ball. play in two trips. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. For that man right there, you need look back only to his last start to see a performance like the one he's shown here so far. Well, it's looking pretty, pretty good so far. Outing. And that's what you get when you mix your speeds and throw a lot of strikes. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. On the first pitch, a quick start to the seventh, and now there are two away. And we're now one batter away Boston getting to the eighth inning. for two in the ball game so far. And he just keeps rolling along as he starts another batter out with strike one. He continues to get ahead here. He's been in complete control. I think you need to guard yourself from being overconfident, though. A bloop and a blast could still turn this game on its ear. Now a fastball that's popped up. Now towards short right field. All right. Seven 
seven innings down. We're working our way. So he keeps rolling right along. Make it seven shutout innings now. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. Arkansas leads this thing three to nothing. Kevin McCoy will stand in to start out there half of the I'm surprised that we're still into the eighth. He's definitely been for sure they would have pulled us by now. No, he's been dominant all game long. And I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on. And that's allowed him to not really worry about making a mistake. He's been free and easy the whole way through. Here's one hit towards the hole. Ooh. What a stop. Does he get it? Oh, he does! What a layout! From his fanny, but he gets Beautiful. Anyway for the first out. Well, they say pitching and defense is what's going to win you ball games, and we've seen evidence of both in this one. That's an incredible play right there, and it's just part of the reason why this guy still has a shutout working. Brian Lopez will dig in now. Hitless in his two at bats so Top far. Top left corner. Late on the fastball there is this one. like a fly ball. Right away, right. And this is taking two batters in. down. Just like that, two are gone to start the eighth one inning. away. Johnny getting to the eighth Stand inning. In now with two away. I mean, ninth really inning actually. Started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. Grounded foul. Swing and a ground ball to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Can't ask for much more than this. Eight shutout in. Oh, we're in the ninth Pat inning, Hall. pitching all nine innings. Get things started here in the top of the ninth. That's going to be Here's beautiful. First offering. First pitch here is popped a mile high into the air. This is way up there, but playable on the infield. Garcia is there, and it's a picture-perfect beginning to the ninth inning for a pitcher. One pitch, one away. Kenny Reardon comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. 1-0. Oh. Oh. And this winds up oh, being a oh, oh, I was really you know anticipating it was going to be a strike. This is a part of the order that you really got to worry about. Now they can turn a good out into a foul. The pitcher is getting sloppy. Hoping we can maintain it. Here's a big swing and miss on the fastball. Two and two. If I didn't know any better, I think this was his first inning out there. He's still throwing the ball. Struck him out. Two batters down, one more to go before we have a complete game. Or, I mean, a strikeout. Ah, no, I mean a shutout. Sorry. A little out of it today. Before he finishes off the shutout. Oh, might not have been where he was hoping to put that pitch, but he somehow gets a swing on it anyway. Strike one. You have to say, they've really had a good game plan for attacking the 3 4 5 hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. Ortiz And just like that, we have a shutout. it off in style too. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. I was going to say we did kind of have an error with the first bat. That's okay. We got a win. We have a whole bunch of points, but I'm not going to spend them until a little bit later on. Maybe spend um, spend the XP during All-Star break. back here on the minor league pregame show before we get to first pitch for tonight's Texas League matchup. Let's 
have a better game here. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. Back-to-back -back fastballs here as he takes control 0-2. Corner paint right there, 97 miles an hour. What are you going to do with that? And a changeup swung on and missed for the first One batter game. up. Mid that changeup's not really a pitch you can sit on with two strikes. Because if he gives you that fastball, you'll be an hour late on it. That's a great job of not showing that pitch until he was ready to punch him out. Tom Willett comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. and oh. he Couldn't get his hands through there, and it's 1-1. One and one. Very difficult to get on top of a pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay Did better this time through oh, because I had the tendency to hitting. That was pretty close. Oh, yeah, and that's well, a good got, job here to get We got down by hitting the square. Pounce on it and then make a good strong throw. First pitch coming. And this is swung on and sent on the ground to first. And he'll step on the bag himself. All right, we got inning one inning over. out of the we way. Played an inning, still nothing. And many to come. Frankie Gunn will start things off in the bottom of the second. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. Just no chance to pull the trigger on that one. It just got on him too fast. Ooh. Good change up there as he takes <coughs> command 0-2. looking pretty good so far. I know so it's your far. first at-bat of the ball game and you want to work the count a little, but those were two pretty good pitches to have a rip out. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. First pitch coming. Benito Quinones is the batter now as he looks at a ball 1 0. And that fastball his definitely catches your attention, especially when it's on the inner half. Ooh, Ooh that's unfortunate. So it'll fall into right field. Oh, he got a good game. hit. Johnny Lust will stand in, back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. In there for strike one, 0-1. Oh and, and he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control, 0-2. Oh and, yeah, and it doesn't look like he's trying to get a ground ball here. He's coming right after him, trying to get a punch out. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it, 0-2. Oh and, and a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Two batters. <clears throat> As Two batters gone. You're not catching up to the fastball. All we need is getting our one right fine. here. A lot of times that means your problem is you're indecisive. You're not sure what you're trying to do at the plate. You're not confident. You're not trusting your ability. Got a good right fly now, ball. It's more men. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. One hit. Jose Melendez will stand in, getting the start here despite being out of the lineup last night. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. And even though that is a strike, man, that thing is coming in so hard, it's almost impossible to get a level swing off. You're better off taking it and waiting for something you can handle a little better. Driven down Ooh. the left field line, will it stay Of course he there? would. Thread it the needle. Will. Just to the right of the chalk, a fair ball. Second base so we'll be giving up two hits here. It's pretty safe to say he was sitting on the fastball there. He's out in front of this pitch and he just drills it right down the line. That'll put him in a good position here with a runner on second and nobody out. Juan Trevino stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Come on, Jay. Get on for it. Here we go. Let's go. Now he swings and hits this ball on the ground. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Jack McGraw will stand in here. He was set down on strikes to start the home first. Swing and a ground ball to first. And he'll take this one back for the out. But meanwhile, oh, you got to be kidding me. What the hell well, was that, dude? Least, he does move that runner up to third base. But with two away now, I don't think that's exactly what he was hoping to accomplish. I think he wanted to drive him in. Tom Willett is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike.
strike two. Still sticking with the fastball, but this time he lays off. It's one and two. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning <clears throat> is over. Got out of there. Sean Calero will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Off the plate. Oh. Four, 1 and 2. Such a tough Was hoping you could take the bait. The two seamer working away with two strikes. He lets it go. Maybe just because he knew he couldn't hit it. Lays off the 1 2 changeup and he's worked it back to 2 and 2. And a full count as that misses. Oh, it's no. 3 and 2 now. With the leadoff walk, something just to get things started against this guy. We got Playing out a bit on the fastball, and that's the first out. And as we showed you in the open, he's out there putting his perfect record on the line. And so far, these guys haven't shown many signs that they're ready to put a one in that loss call. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. In there, and he's in control. 0-2 now. That's one of those fastballs that just never feels like it's going to be a strike. It's up at the letters, and that's a tough one to do anything. Meanwhile, this ball is into right oh center, boy. and that will be good enough for extra bases. That's like inside the, the park home run. For third, the relay, but he is in there with a triple. Benito Quinones will stand in. Base hit his first time around. In there, strike one. Then he thought to bring in the infield in here with one away. Still a little early in my book. A run you can live with. What you don't want to do is let this snowball into a big inning. He takes something off, but it's one and two now. And even on one and two now, you've got to expand the strike zone a little up there. You can't go down looking. You've got to put this ball in play. Throw gets him, two down. Johnny Lust. All right, we got two again. out. Set down on strikes his first time. In there, and it's 0-1. We can definitely get out of this if we get an out. And this is fouled back and out of play. Hey, get us out of here, huh? And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Go, the 0-2 once more. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. So it's no runs... Roger Tata will stand in to lead things off. Kind of getting fortunate to getting out of these situations so far. Here it's ball one. The pitch count there. One pitch into his fifth inning work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. And this ball swung on and hit on the ground. One away. Jose Melendez will stand in here. He doubled his first time around. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. And I believe he broke the plane of the plate there. He most certainly did. It's a ball and a strike. 1-1 one, one pitch count. Looking pretty good. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Seems like it's been a fairly consistent pattern. Hard stuff early, soft stuff late. But these guys don't seem to have caught on yet. It's a pretty standard operating procedure, too. I, they just look lost up there. Juan Trevino will stand in. He grounded out his first time. A late swing here. Is this oh, come on. And that's Bayan down the line in right field toward the corner. This is what you call an ambush swing right here. You're hitting in the back of the order. You're looking dead red early in the count. Kind of just hoping the pitcher might relax. So far, it has not been a good game. Then We've given up a few hits. And you jump well, we're maintaining and here's a swing and a miss not giving a run. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game. And that ends the end. 
Tom Willett will stand in to lead things off as the feel like we're gonna only be pitching really hasn't for been much of a factor so another far. inning or two yeah, between the top three guys in this lineup no hits between them and you gotta figure you're not gonna win too many games when that's the case using the fastball exclusively here it's 0-2 and even when he's just laying pitches in there they still swing right through and he struck him out and that's eight strikeouts thus far Sean Calero will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. In there to strike one. For that man right there, you need look back only to his last start to see a performance like the one he's shown here Ooh. so far. And again, the first baseman missed the grounder. Frankie Gunn will stand in. He tripled in his last appearance. And a changeup that time that's lifted in the air out toward left. Devania is there to pull this one in for route number two. Benito Quinones will dig in here. One for two. He singled and grounded out all so right, far. All right. Fastball in there for a called strike. Having success with the fastball here, it's 0-2 now. He's closing in on putting up yet another zero. And he looks at a ah. one and two. And that's a good spot for that fastball on 0-2. And, and we'll there have to we leave go. it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. So. Wow. Johnny They're going to have us keep pitching. To lead off the home half of the I thought by now they would have pulled us. And this likely won't help much as the first pitch of the inning is hit on the ground to short. Close in time, and that's out number one. Roger Tata will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. One out, nobody on. Not too shabby. And here's a fastball called for strike two. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out towards straightaway right. All Rojas right, two batters down. In a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. Jose Melendez will stand in. He's one for two so far. First pitch to him here is hit on the ground to the left side as he doesn't waste any time. And that should be getting me pulled. Should be pulled. Juan Trevino will dig in now, and he'll do so representing the tying run. Yeah, and you're not too worried about this guy jumping the yard on you here and tying the ball game. But if he does find a way to get on base, things get a whole lot more interesting. And this is sliced foul so into one, the one pitch down right here. out of play. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Yeah, he's definitely still bringing it. It's the seventh inning, and, and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that. I'll be. Jack wow. McGraw. They're going to keep us in. in. Start out there half of the eighth with I thought by now they would have pulled there. us. He's definitely been a tough nut to crack. No, he's been dominant all game long. I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on. All right. He bought, but that's okay. We get one out. Fourth time now. Still looking for his first hit of the ball game. Yeah, he's not the only one either. This has been a great pitching performance so far. They've had these guys chasing their tails all game long. No, and he's definitely getting the best of this matchup as he fires another fastball past him for strike two. Boy, I'll tell you, to be down 0-2 against a guy like this, the stuff he's got. Oh come on. He could have had it if you laid out. So he could have. Is that it really runs that pitch count up. You can see on the graphic right here that that total's starting to get up there now. So he may be getting just a little bit tired. Right by him here, and he's set up for another strikeout here. The count to 0 and 2. If I didn't know any better, I think this was his first inning out there. He's still throwing the ball with a lot of velocity. On the ground to third. There we go. Yeah. Stretch there may be the difference. It's a double play, and the inning is over. 
And it looks like we're going to finish the game. I didn't think they were going to allow us, but you know what? We're, we're finishing it. Whatever they've done for the first eight innings hasn't yielded a whole lot so far. So, quite frankly, I'm not expecting too much. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. On the ground towards second. And you reined in one away. All right, one batter down. We got two Benito left to go. Quinones will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Good changeup, and it's 0-2. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number there 11 we go. in the ballgame. Johnny Musk will stand in now as their last shot here with two away in the ninth. Yeah, just one final hurdle here before he finishes off the shutout. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. And with some of these guys, it's like they're... And he gets yeah. recalled to end it here. And with two struck, I mean, two over. shutout Rose games so far. All throughout this game, he was completely in charge, essentially, from pitch one. And now he finishes off a masterful performance here, getting the complete game shut out. Time for one final check of the line score as you see the key players there. In Looking this pretty good. For granted, not so well. We gave up seven hits, but we, we had some really good progress. So, should be that too far away from the All-Star game. Oh, we got called up. We're going to the AAA, boys and girls. We got called up. So, we're looking pretty good. 77 strikeouts, and we already get called up. Took us five wins, 77 strikeouts, and 53 innings. And we got called up. It won't be long before we make progression to the big league. In fact, and at the rate we're going, we could be Matt there Vaskersian probably in this session. And before we get much further, here's a look at our starting lineups tonight. And let's also get a brief look at our two starting pitchers as you see how they stack up right there. So I haven't started yet, but I'm probably going to pass this guy with strikeouts. Miguel Vila makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. Cold strike on the game's All first right, we got one, one so far. One That's one of those fastballs that just never feels like it's going to be a strike. Got two. Got the letters and that's a tough one to do anything. Now all right, all right, right that's fine. We got a first out. Right center. Duncan moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for that number one. And there are his numbers from last time out. Comes off a victory in that performance, so he'd love to duplicate that. Ah, we got you. Went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Here's a bouncing ball now up the See, I couldn't get that one at the time. Into center field for a one-out base hit. Ryan Subcheck will stand in, and he's seen that average climb the past week or so. As you see, what he's done over the course of the last seven ball games, and that swung on and missed for strike one. Now strike two. Can we get our first strike out here? Can we? Can we? Nope. 
Oh, well, we get a double play, which is fine by me. Change up right there. And he's probably not going to throw too many first pitch change ups. That's a pretty darn good call. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Here we go, boys. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Come on. The next 0 2. There we go. First strikeout. And there's a nice moment for him on the mound. He's just tallied his first strikeout since coming to AAA. Andrew Brown will stand in for the first time now, and he's been hot as a firecracker of late, and he's seen that average shoot up quite a bit these past eight ball games. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. Now a changeup uh. that evens it at one and one. Hey, have a rip. Like you can't. Oh, what a first. catch. A laser that time, but it'll wind up with nothing to show for it. Two away now. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. So they're held in. Juan Centeno. We'll get his first shot here, and you can see that average. So it's looking pretty good. To this point in the season. Well, oh, it's never mind. This is pulled into right. Well, he will come really on gave up, I believe, right one hit. This one down for the first down. Matt Dendecker will get his first shot now, and you can see how he's done over the course of this five-game hitting streak. Here's a swing and a ground ball on the first as the throw takes care of him, and it's a quick two-up, two-down start to the third. We're doing pretty good so far. We'll dig in for the first time, and he'll do so right at the 300 mark for the year. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. There we go. The two seamer, and the inning is over. Nothing across here this half. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The bees are... Miguel so Vila far, we're holding that one run he going here lead. In the lead. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Good changeup, and it's 0-2. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in their knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count. 0 and 2. Ah, Too that high. was so bad. Well, I, I think that fastball that was a just bad a fastball. Bear. He's not trying to throw this. Ball. Fastball ball. There we go. Three, and there's the first down of the inning. Josh Satton will stand in. A base hit his first time around. And a fastball swung on and hit in the air to left. Shuck is camped under this one. And there's the second out of the inning. Very quickly, five pitches and two outs here in the fourth. Well, those are the kind of innings you love to have if you plan on working deep into a ball game. Ryan Subcheck is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. And you know what, guys? I've Making been really good progress. so far. Not only has he used his fastball well, but he's also spotted it well. I mean, that is perfect location right on the knees. And now for the Ooh, second batter in a row. Not what we want to do. That is going to be gone. Field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be a be a triple. Bases. And he is in the second with a two-out double. Justin Mullen will get an opportunity here in a run scoring spot now following the two out double. Outside target here and he hits it for strike one. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing in two. And he's really going to have to fight now. You got to take a little bit out of your swing. Oh, come on. Meanwhile, and this game's tied. And a relay to the plate. And the will score from second as this ball game is tied one apiece. Andrew Brown will try and keep things going now with the runner at first. Probably going to have to spend some points to actually upgrade here. Oh, and one. our 
guy, but because he's not throwing too good. Rodriguez will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. And he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first out. Juan Centeno will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. Outside target here, and he hits it All for right. strike one. That's looking pretty good. pitch count on your screen right there. That's not a mistake. He's been loving those first pitch outs, that's for sure. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. We have yet to get another strikeout. Fouled back. The 0-2 once more. There we go. So it's 2-up, two 2-down two to start the fifth. Matt Dendecker will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Very difficult to get on top of a pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible ah. when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. And this is swung on and sent on the ground to first. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is... Which is a six. Tired game here. Here in the top of inning number six. In there, and it's 0 and 1. <laughs> yeah, no mistake about that one. That one's right there. Uh, one good fastball. Right, we got him on 0 2 pitch count. Maybe we can get a strikeout. Uh, that thing's knee high on the outside third of the plate. Ooh, my goodness. What is going on one, with our two. pitcher? And he takes strike three ball over the fastball, one gone. And I'll tell you, I like the way he's handling himself out there. Going after guys, he's working ahead in the count. He's keeping the ball around the plate. All the things you want to see in a young pitcher. Miguel Vila is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Uh, he's just cruising out there now. I'll tell you, this may turn into a game of first team to two wins. Oh, that's going to be a ball. He takes oh! On the fastball. Pull the Caught him looking. If you're a fan of pitching, this has been the game for you. I mean, these two guys have both been exceptional so far. Just two runs allowed between both of them. Of course, makes a broadcaster awfully happy because this game has flown by. Big swing and a miss at the fastball. And uh, that's going to be a ball. He's struck oh. him his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Beautiful. So we're now Ryan into the subject. seventh. Lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. For that man right there, just the one run allowed. The question is, can he make that lead stand up? Well, he hasn't shown too many signs of cracking so far. Got he that 0 2 pitch right count. Now, Maybe we can get him out. Come on, baby. And there we go. Justin Mullen will stand in. A strikeout dick in his first time and then a base hit last time around. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. He continues to get ahead here. He's been in complete control. I think you need to guard yourself from being overconfident, though. A bloop and a blast could still turn this game on its ear. Now a swing and a ground ball, but uh, this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Not looking too bad. Now a swing and a little tapper to the left of the mound. Throw gets him to down. Andrew Brown. Come in now with two away, and to this point at least, so much for having the three, four, five guys get the rally started. Yeah, it's been an important inning for that man out there on the mound. 
He's held his ground, and he may get through the teeth of this lineup, still holding on to that lead. Sniffing so pretty good. We got him on 0-2 pitch count. You have to say, they really had a good game plan for attacking the 3-4-5 hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this thing. And we got him. leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Seventh inning stretch time now for Laughing Mountain. The Bees lead it 3-1. to one. And they got us still in the game. We finally got a lead. Got a three-run lead here. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as we'll take a look at strike one. Well, the guy you see right there has been terrific. But will they let him work these final two innings? Oh, I think the pitch count is in his favor. Everybody pays a lot of attention. Just give me a ball. Oh, we got him. Juan Centeno will stand in again. He lined out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time up. Pulls the string on that one. One strike. And hey, zero two base, pitch count. Have a look at it, but this we is get him. into the seats. Come on. Swing and a ball hit softly yeah, on the ground. Yeah, 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 yeah. Matt Dendecker will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the bat. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. Big swing and a miss Ooh. in the fastball. He's behind in the count, 0 and 2. I think Boy, we got him. I think we got him. 0 and 2 against a guy like this. Nope. With the stuff he's got tonight. So we're now officially well, into the ninth. Stand in, Got to get that three-run lead. In the top of the ninth. ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a full strike. Boy, he has been a first-strike throwing machine, hasn't he? He's hardly been behind in the count all game long. And he'll just tag him out along the first base line. Well, if you're the first baseman, you can see that runner in front of you. So you've got to make sure to get that baseball before it rolls foul. Now that's a pretty nice play there. Miguel Vila will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. Come on, let it fly right here. Here's a Deep ball, ball on down the middle of the field. Right and just like that, we get our first in the ninth. ball. Got two out. Josh Satton. The last chance now with two out here in the ninth. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Hit hard to the right. Foul. All right, we got him. We can get him. One, two. Strike. There we go. And he gave him that and even more, finishing off the complete game victory. One more look at the final line score there to see the gave great up pitching three hits, one earned run, but we were able to pitch all nine innings. totally forgot to do some upgrading so after this game we'll upgrade our player
MLB The Show's coverage of minor league baseball is on the air as we continue our tour around the minor league. Today, it's the finale of this four-game set between the Salt Lake Bees and the Sacramento River Cats. Oh, fastball right down the middle. We'll step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Now a hard uh, Oh, we got unfortunate. Out there at short, and that's the first that was a game. laser. The story of the ball game right there. I'm so and glad that's that we got it. it. Sometimes in baseball, the hard hit balls find gloves, and the little dribblers find holes. Derek Barton is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. And sometimes you got to cut down a little stride against a guy who's throwing this hard. Either you take that leg kick completely out of the equation, or you get it started just a little bit. And two out. Wow. Calgio comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. Rodrigo Rodriguez will stand in, getting the start here despite being out of the lineup last night. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. Hit hard on the right down the middle. Oh, he, he missed it. it he uh, missed he it. No chance at first. That's so, so we'll unfortunate. See how they that, most likely an infield single. Daniel Takahashi. I'd be ruling that as an now. error. To keep that hot streak going, as he's been hitting the ball well these past six ball games. Uh, oh, that's gone. Damn it. Not really a good inning. We gave up two runs. Gave up a home Bobby run, actually. Bowser will stand in. Back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Yeah, that is down the middle, but at 96, that's still tough. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Nope. A nice job by the retreating first baseman to look it in for the out. Juan Ramirez will be the batter. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. And that's going to be a ball. Oh, we got him. Caught him looking. Michael Pinay will dig in for the first time, and he'll do so right at the 300 mark for the year. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is... Two innings down. Andy Perino makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Swing and he popped him up off to the left in foul territory. Coronado is there to make the catch, and it's one pitch, one gone here in the bottom of the third. Jeffrey Gunn will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing and one. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Yeah, kind of a late decision to swing there. Even if he hits that thing. That might Looks just be pretty a good. Hoping we get a strike out here. Swing and a there miss we go. That time, out number two. Now he was really late on this one. I mean, really late. You can see where the baseball is by the time he gets the barrel through. I mean, it's darn near in the catcher's glove already. That tells me he was probably looking for something else. Derek Barton is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. And a good swing. Got him on that 0-2 pitch count. And, two. and even with two outs, this is a team that can still put... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire. Rodrigo Rodriguez will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Two-seam fastball. Swing and a fly ball to straightaway left. Shuck is there to make the catch, and the home half of the fourth starts with a one-pitch out. 
Daniel Takahashi will try things again. He hit that two-run homer his first time. Got that change up coming right down the middle. In, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. Back to the two seam. starting to get the sense that he's put that first inning behind him, and he looks a lot more comfortable out there now. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. Very difficult to get on top of. And we're going to try to get him to strike out with the change up. Possible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. In time to first, and there are two away. Very quickly, five pitches and two outs here in the fourth. Well, those are the kind of innings you love to have if you plan on working deep into a ball game. Nate Fryman will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. That's one of those fastballs that just never feels like it's going to be a strike. Is that gone? Some of the letters or a foul ball. It's a tough one to do anything with. All right. Two seam. Gonna throw right down the middle. Here's a fastball that's hit uh, the left side, and it's going to find the hole for a two-out knock. I tell you, when you're on a hot streak like this guy's been on, everything you touch turns to gold. I mean, this is not a particularly great swing. It's not hit hard at all, but sure enough, it finds a hole, and that average, it'll climb a few more points. Robbie Bowser kind of was hoping here. He flew Got out a better his opportunity. In there, strike one. No balls, one strike. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. It was kind of a delayed swing right there. He looked like he had to wait to see if it was going to be anywhere close. And now he's in a big hole. And that's a wild pitch. One and two. Well, I think that fastball is just for show there. He's not trying to throw this for a strike. A runner on first with two away. And this ball will be chopped foul. Here's a ball hit in the air. I got it. Green. There we go. Got it, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on it. Juan Ramirez will stand in to lead things off. Holy shnikes. Right we got a 10-run lead. One. Pitch count there. One pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. Wow. Oh. change up there is this is lifted into the air out towards center field. Calgio patrolling but that's center okay. makes the play. I'll one take out. that. I'll take that. Not looking too bad. Michael Pinay will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. Boy, he has been a first strike throwing machine, hasn't he? He's hardly been behind in the count all game long. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. And we've seen guys swing at that four seam riding fastball up in the zone. But you're never going to get on top of that thing when it's up that high. And your pitch trying to keep, huh? Here you go. Oh, and he can't catch hey, up we got him. as he swings and misses for the second out. Andy Perino will dig in. He popped out in foul territory his first time. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Well on his way to another good inning right here, and you see the pitch count. It's not even close to being a factor just yet. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second, and indeed it will. He throws him out at first. And we're Jeffrey pitching into Gunn the sixth inning so in far. To start things off as this top of the batting order hasn't found a whole lot of success so far. In fact, just one hit between the one, two, three hitters combined. So apparently the table setters have not been getting their chores done. A great job of changing speeds there. It's 0-2. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch. And they had him fooled pretty good on that one. Uh. Take the fastball here inside off the plate. It's 1-2. This is a spot where it helps to have a two-seam fastball like that so you can work in on the right-handed hitters. 
Derek Barton will stand in for the third time now. Still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not. All right, all right, really good way focused. to start it. He just wants to get up there and gotta stay consistent. And over toward the dugout, but this got him on that zero-two pitch stand. count. Try to get him with change up here. Changes up ah. here, but it's one and two. Good change up right there, down in the strike zone. A little bit of low fastball. Definitely the one they wanted to strike. Him there out. we go. So great job to lay off. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Here's the first pitch to him. Rodrigo Rodriguez is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. And I wish more guys would pitch like this. I mean, look at that pitch count right there. That is really low for this stage of the game, and it's because he's throwing strikes and challenging guys. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Three up. Daniel Takahashi will stand in again as we flash you back to earlier. He's accounted for their only runs of the ball game. Got one swing of the bat as this was the swing right here. And Got two. Him. Now it's 0-2. And, and this is part of why he's had a lot of success. And what do we got he's here? Had a lot of work on the edges and stayed out of the middle Nothing. of the strike zone. And this is going to be a foul ball. Another 0-2 coming. Got it. Three. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. Not only has he rung up a lot of strikeouts, but he still hasn't walked a batter to this point. So his control has been really, really spot Back on. Back to one. Nate Fryman is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Gets Back the to two. Him here and he's in control 0-2. Oh and two. It's and a back to number like three. He just jumped into the ball game. Strike out to start things and now an 0-2 count. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. Hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0 and 1. Uh, one good fastball deserves another as he jumps ahead. 0 and 2 now. Yeah, he's definitely still bringing it. It's the seventh inning. Got and him. We'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire Looking the side. really good. Now we're in the Ramirez eighth inning. We'll stand in to start out their half of the eighth with that starter still out there, and he's definitely been a tough nut to crack. No, he's been dominant all game long. I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on. Zero two pitch count. Really Change up. All right, but it's going to be a ball. And he takes something off here as this is or a lazy fly ball. fly ball out to center field. Calgill is there and he has it That's for the first pretty good. Michael Pinay will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. Now a check swing here and a little looper. And he'll put this away for the second out. Uh, this is a gift right here. He can't make up his mind whether to go after this pitch or not. So he does the worst thing you can do, which is go for it halfway. This turns into an easy little check swing liner over the first. And this is swung on and sent on the ground to first. And All right. Step on the bag and One more inning. Oh, they they pulled us. Okay. An entertaining game all in all. So if we have to choose one who stood out among all others, why not? So we gave up three total hits, two earned runs, but that's okay. I think it's time to upgrade. See more how many. Maybe that might help. All right, we'll 
we'll do it. We'll do it. Pitch location. All right. So this is easy. This is all about pitching in zone. Okay. This is like the easiest training part. You're just throwing where they want you to throw it. Too easy. Like, all, all you gotta do for this is just throw it right where the target's at, and it's just a game of chance how your pitcher is. So, with the points that we get, we're probably gonna upgrade. Um, upgrade one of the skills that we need. We did get called up to the AAA after playing two games, and then so far we have two wins here, so we played a total of four games so far. It's not looking too bad. I think we'll get called up to play for the Angels by the All-Star game. I think we'll get called up. Throwing a no-hitter? I, I don't know about that. As much as I want to, I don't think it's going to happen. So, we got a good one out of that. We got past level 2. Meaning we're going to be in level 3 the next time we participate. So let's add in some points. Need to limit the solid contact. There we go. So, hopefully we'll be able to get them to swing a little bit more. So far, it's not looking too bad. We're at 21 strikeouts. Total is 98 strikeouts. And now, Amos Sandler. So with the points that we just spent, let's see if we get a little bit upgrade here. Comes with a fastball as this is lifted the other way out to left center. Shot is there, and it's a first pitch out to start the ball game. Mike Baxter will get his first shot at it here. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. A little chilly, but not unbearable tonight. 55 degrees here at first pitch. And this is swung on and bounced to shortstop. There we go. Phil 
They are hitting the balls a little bit more than I would like. In yesterday's ball game, right down Broadway that time, strike one. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Now 0 and 2, you got to be wary of that changeup. This is where he likes to throw it, and it doesn't always uh. have to strike. Too high, one and two. Come on. There we go. Lauren Harmon will dig in, and this season certainly hasn't been all that kind to him as he enters play with the average down in the two. So we've got a one run lead oh, here. Where he was hoping to put that pitch, but he somehow gets a swing on it anyway. Strike one. And a good spot. Got him in the zero pitch two pitch count. Foul. Gonna try to get that bottom right corner. Come on. And he'll take the fastball here inside off the plate. It's one and two. This is a spot where it helps to have a two-seam fastball like that so you can work in on the right hand. Oh, oh what the oh, hell was that? Wow. And he's going to make it up to second base safely. God as damn, he's in there. that sucks. My word. Damon Sanderson. Dig in now with a runner First on batter, base. too. You know, Eric, after the error, he's got to be careful out there on the mound. Yeah, I mean, it's tough to let errors go as it is, but when it's your error, way tougher. feel like you need to make amends on your own. You can get you into even bigger trouble. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Omar Moreno there we stands go. in as he can't connect here. 0-1. Trying to jump on that first pitch changeup. That's a good pitch there to start this A-B. Right back to the changeup, just as effective here. It's nothing in two. Down the line, but this will kick foul. Another 0-2 coming. Oh, he took a big swing that time as he lifts a high pop-up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. So finally get one out. Is over and this is going to be one of those long games here. Tyler Tuskevich stands in as he checks his swing here for strike one. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has that to looks like it's gone. The deep right field. Or not. Have room out there as he puts Head to distance. Justin Sellers will come forward now to start the inning, and with his guys down six in the early going, they're going to need to put something together here or risk being blown out. Yeah, and I think the big thing here is you've got to come up with something. Even if it's just one run, you've got to let those guys over there know that you haven't given up, that you're going to fight them until the last out. There we go. One batter up, one batter down. Drew Butera will be the batter. This is fouled off to the left. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Run it out, run it uh, this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Come on. Oh, there we go. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Amos Sadler will stand in here, hoping to pick up his club's first hit in the contest. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. He may strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down. Got him in that zero two pitch Good count. Change up there as he takes command. 0 and two. Fouled back. The 0 2 once more. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes him out the side in order. Mike Baxter will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Now a fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. And you know what, guys? I have been really impressed so far. Not only has he used his fastball well, but he's also spotted it well. I mean, that is perfect location right on the knees. Ah, I was hoping we get him. As he lifts a fly ball out toward right field. That's okay. He'll put it away without much trouble, and the leadoff man is retired here in the fourth. Phil Landrum will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Mm, a little Didn't even realize no that we have a six-run lead going on. Cut down a little stride against a guy who's throwing this hard. 
Either you take that leg kick completely out of the equation, or you get it started just a little bit quicker. Now a swing, and he pops it foul. Oh! I thought for sure he was going to get it. Damn. Thought for sure we're gonna get him. Lauren Harmon is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. A lot of these guys have come into these at bats trying to be the aggressor, trying to make something happen. But what has happened is that they've swung and missed themselves into some early holes. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Now a swing and a ground ball. Still trying to get him. Foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Can we get him? And we do. Struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Damon Sanderson will make his way towards the box be a to ball. lead off the fifth. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. The pitch count there, one pitch into his fifth inning. We have a ten-run lead. Much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. At this stage, I I think Royce McGee is on this team. Where everybody just welcome. We're playing with Slim Jim right now. Playing MLB The Show 2014, making our way. Um, we're making our way to 20. And this thing 21. gets out there a long ways before it finally gets tracked down. I hope everybody's having a good day so far. And now for the second batter in a row, this is in the air out to left field. And this is handled easily, so quickly two are gone. Here and thank you ahead. for the raid party of six. Look at our line score to this point, and I'm almost certainly jinxing things by pointing it out, but it's worth mentioning that zero in the hit column. Three How did here in the storms go for you, man? at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike it's 0 and 1 well on his way to another good inning right here and you see the pitch count it's not even close to being a factor just yet now he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate and that'll be ruled a strike right now we're just trying to throw fastballs and Fuck win games out. here punch out of the ball game and that one ends the inning uh baseball's going pretty good we our guy home half of the fifth uh, had up. only the five B's wins in the double a and got called up to the triple a so he's not too far from making it to the big league justin sellers We'll get things started here in the top of any The only thing I'm six. not used to in this game is how backwards some of the controls are. So like if you're playing on the PlayStation 4, the old the old game the older versions have the controls backwards compared to how it is now. Ah, no problem, man. You get some sleep. It's pretty late for you anyways. And I greatly appreciate you popping in. And this is fouled back and out of play. And he misses there, one and two. On 0 and 2, if that's a curveball, a, a changeup, a sinker, then maybe you get a guy to chase. But if there we go. Punches out another one, making Our boy Slim Jim is just game. throwing strikeouts Not here. Not only has he rung up a lot of strikeouts, but he still hasn't walked That's a bat nasty changeup. So his control has been really, really spot on so far. Drew Butera will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. One out, nobody on. Trying to get a little bit better opportunity here. Oh, after the strikeout his first time around, I think he was thought able for sure to we can get a strike out of that. Is a learning experience. Come on, Those have both been real good tanks. Bold strike on the change, two and one. Yeah, definitely going to have to take the experience points in the game and invest it on the control per pitch. Pull the count back to even now. It's two and two. Mm, a little conviction behind that fastball. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. 
Amos Sadler will stand in here hoping to at least put a ball in play here this inning. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. For that man right there, you need look back only to his last start to see a performance like the one he's shown here so far. All right, we got him in the 0 2 pitch count. Great outing. And that's what you get when you mix your speed. Top a lot of corner if we can. And, and we got him. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing a base hit. Nothing across here. This oh, man. I thought for Mike Baxter no way. will stand in to start the seventh with that big zero still looming in the hit column. Might have right, something have cool that could happen. Right now. I'm not scared but if I say it, no I think I'm going to jinx myself. For sure, I was gonna get that. Back here with a change up, but it's taken for ball two. And a fastball that's hit on the ground towards short. And the throw first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. And for you at home, all I'm gonna do is direct your attention to the hits column right there. Right now, we got one out. Here at the seventh inning, so Lander stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. And even though he's been pitching well, this is a part of the order that he's and now we got two. Warren Harmon will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ball game so far. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. We have to say they really had a good game plan for attacking the three, four, five hitters all game long. We got him in that 0 2 pitch count. Gonna change it up, throw that change up, and see if we can get him. And we do! Damon Sanderson will stand in to start out their half of the eighth with that starter still out there. Oh man. We could do something really cool here, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. One batter down. Two more to go in this inning. One more. Got one more in the inning. Stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the back. The fastball on the outside corner as we'll take a look. It's right one. I like how he's approaching. He's got a good, safe lead. So he's not setting guys up, wasting a lot of pitches. He's coming right after everything. It's going to be a ball. I know it. No way! We got a gift out of that one. No hit bid into the ninth. So they go down without a whimper here. Home has Justin Sellers will stand in now to begin their half of the ninth in a game that was decided long, long ago. Yeah, this is mop-up time out there right now. But hey, these at bats still count against the batter. So you can't go up there and nail it in. Got zero two pitch count. Put yourself in the shoes of that man. Come on. What's going through his mind right now? Two more outs to go. We know his heart's racing. You just got to focus on the glove and trust with your Texas car. He's done a heck of a job also. And over toward the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Bases are empty, one man. Oh, and that is right there. Zero two pitch count. And I think we got him here. One batter away. This whole team hasn't done much offense. From a shutout. 
I don't think we're gonna get a no hitter out of this. <laughs> we had an opportunity with a no hitter. Oh, and that is just heartbreaking right there. I don't care which side you're on. Oh, that was so unfortunate. But that's okay. We'll get a shutout here. Shutout. Unfortunately, we did not get to no hitter. We were that close. So tough to take a no hitter this far and then lose it in the ninth. I guess it just wasn't in the cards this time. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led Gave up his guys one hit. to the victory. Thought for sure we could have done it. try to upgrade and work on a little bit with the control or brake. Oh, actually, we need to work on the brake. So far, 26 innings pitch, we've got 38 strikeouts compared to the other guy. I think the rate where our player is with the win to loss ratio. And welcome back. Probably get called up to the big version, league in another game or two. Triple A PCL action, but Ralph Tyler makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this season. Trying to see if the break uh, kind of helps out. Got a one two pitch count. Trying to get that first strike out. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here, and it remains one and two. Ball two. Ooh, there's a tough one to take right there on a one and two pitch. Especially after fighting off so many pitches leading up to that. There we go. Didn't think we were going to get him. So the rookie passes his first test here on the mound. And with that, here's a check of the Salt Lake defense. It's brought to us by Majestic. If it happens in baseball, it happens in Majestic. Carlos Costa will stand in now following that seven pitch at bat to begin the ballgame. Going to go with two seam in the corner. Good fly ball. Wings under the fastball here. And just like that, we got our out. Back behind short. Green ranges back, and he has it for out number two. Rodney Rohrbaugh will stand in, and he's been tearing the cover off the ball the past few days, as you see his numbers from the last five ball games. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. Grounded foul. And we 
got him. Ned Torres will dig in, and this season certainly hasn't been all that kind to him as he enters play with the average down in the 230s. And that's by him. It's 0-1. Got that 0-2 pitch count. Probably hoping we can get a change up here. Got a top right fastball. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Norman Overstreet will stand in for the first time now. And he's got that average up over the 300 mark to begin play. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. He's probably not going to throw too many first pitch changeups. That's a pretty darn good call. Now a changeup in on the hands that evens it at 1 and 1. One and two there now. we go. One more. And we can get two out. Oh, he took a big swing that time as he lifts a high pop up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. And we got him. Caught him looking. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Well, it's been something of a strikeout fest here to start this game off. Already four strikeouts now in the first five batters. Now that's going to be a tough pace to keep up. Aire Adrianza will stand in for the first time now. Looking to keep that hot streak going as he's been hitting the ball well these past six ball games. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. And he lays off for ball one. Tough pitch right there. At 96 in on the hands. You just gotta let that one go. A good action on the two seamer there. And All it's right, one two pitch count. Oh, a very hittable pitch. And too. That's up a middle top of left corner. Fastball. And he's not gonna get away with too many. And, and we got him. There is this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Ethan Gordon will get still his first a shot scoreless down. game here into the third. Here recently, thanks to what he's done over the course of these last five ball games. Swinging a ground ball towards the middle. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. As we showed you in the open, he's out there putting his perfect record on the line, and so far, these guys haven't shown many signs that they're ready to put a one in that loss call. Nick Noonan. Is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. And there's ball Ooh. one. That was that was an ugly pitch. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. There's a swing and a ground ball. And that's another out. Throw on to first, two gone. Guillermo Quiroz will take his first cuts now. And as you can see, he enters play with that average up over the 320 mark. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. Gets the fastball by him here. And he's Zero two pitch count. Oh and two. He's really going to have to fight and now. Top left you corner take a here. little bit out of your swing and find a way to put this ball in play. And he swings oh, on top and that's unfortunate. We gave up a second. hit. And that's through. A base hit. That's unfortunate. Ralph Tyler will dig in for a second time. A strikeout victim opening up the ball game. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Just no chance to pull the trigger on that one. It just got on him too fast. And we got a fly ball. On and lifted in the air to left. Shot is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. So unfortunately, there won't be a no hitter in this game. We gave up one hit. Carlos Costa will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. But we can still shoot for a strikeout here. Not a strikeout, I mean a shutout. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Rodney Rohrbaugh will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. 
fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. Seems like we've seen a lot of guys oh, playing our change up. Tonight. Hopefully he can stay in that strike zone. Not that hard either. But when he throws it off the other pitches, that's where it makes it a little more difficult. And we got him. Ned Torres will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. And he puts a pretty good jolt That's into good this contact. one. And deep to center. That's like almost by the warning track. He puts this away Could have been gone. The side. Nothing across here this half. Norman Overstreet will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Fastball that gets the inside corner, strike one. The pitch count there, one pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it should be. He hasn't had any real Got him in that 0-2. So We're going to make him strike out here. Oh, but that's okay. An easy out. With a ground out, one away. An early look at the line score here tonight as we play the top of the fifth. And boy, just one lone hit for the visitors this evening as they've been taken to task by this starter. Aire Adrianza will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Gonna go for a top left corner here. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. and Nothing there. Bases are empty, one man out. Out of play, off to the right. Hey, I like the up there, huh? Hey, you got it. No one better. Go. Goes the other way with a fastball, and this is in the yeah, air. Yeah, we got a fly left. ball. Another and out. This is handled easily, so quickly two are gone here to start the fifth. Ethan Gordon will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Well, Our pitcher to is getting a little sloppy right with his here. pitches. You see the pitch count. It's not even close to being a factor just yet. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this is going to be a foul ball. Bottom left corner. Let's see if we can get him. And we do. Struck him out. It's seven to the ball game, and that ends the inning. Nick Noonan will come in now to start things out here in their half of the sixth as they look for a reversal of fortunes here. The first five innings have not been particularly good. probably get a run high. here. And I think that's putting it mildly. And Just that's our fly ball. So currently we have a one run lead here and keeping them the off the board as well. Easy on him and that's for sure. Guillermo Quiro comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. For that man right there, you need look back only to his last start to see a performance like the one he's shown here so far. Well on his way to another great outing. And that's what you get when you mix your speeds and throw a lot of strikes. Got two out. Ralph Tyler. Not too far away, closing out the inning. And I wish more guys would pitch like this. I mean, look at that pitch count right there. That is really low for this stage of the game, and it's because he's throwing strikes and challenging guys. And we got him. His eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Carlos Costa will come forward now to begin the seventh inning in what's been a very briskly played ball game here tonight. That's what happens when you get two starters Good fly ball. on top of their game. Been great pitching, One great out, defense, not a and lot of two more runners. to go in for the Very inning. Even game through six innings. Rodney Rohrbach will stand in, and he, like so many others, hit us in the ball game so far. Fastball in there for a ball strike. That's in there as well. It's a quick only two count. Oh yeah, we could probably get him with a strikeout. And we got him. Two gone, one more, one more left. Ned Torres will stand in now. He struck out and flied out, 0 for 2 thus far. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. And he gets a piece here as this ball. 
ball is fouled away. Swing and a miss on the fastball. It's one and two. You have to say, they really had a good game plan for attacking the three, four, five hitters all game long. And that's going to... Oh, you got lucky. You got lucky and thread the needle on that one. I thought for sure we were going to close that out. Oh, can't even let us finish the inning. Come on. And he's looking to the bullpen here. That's unfortunate. It'll give us enough to finish one more game. But we still get the win. Gave up two hits, but yet they pulled us. So we're not doing really so hot with the strikeouts. Because it's going to probably take us a few more games to catch up where we were in the double A. So far, every batter that we've gone up against have been above 300. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Very difficult to get on top of the pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. So get the first out here. Abraham Almonte comes on with one gone here as he looks at a cold strike one. Oh, and you wonder if maybe he decided beforehand just to take a pitch up there. And again, he threads the needle in between the two fielder. So again, no hitter is not going to happen. Arnold Savage will stand in now, just a few ticks shy of the 300 mark for the season. Are you kidding me? But he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. And the throw will come back in quickly, so it's first and second now with only one away. Jesus Montero will stand in, hoping to turn things around from the loss last night. He was 0 for 4 in that ball game. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Swing and a ball lifted into straightaway center. Calgio is there now, and he got has two it. out. Two gone. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Nick Franklin. Let's get out of this here. little ugly he's situation here. If we can get one game. more First out. Pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Another fastball. This one he gets by him. It's one and one. Runner staying tight to the bag at second. Here's the pitch. Oh, and he dialed that one down and got him to swing through it. It's one and two now. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch. And they had him fooled pretty good on that one. And, he and we got him. We played an inning. Still. Ken Yamaguchi will stand in. A couple of hits in that ball game last night. So we've got a two-run lead a going on. There, no balls and a strike. And even though that is a strike... Man, that thing is coming in so hard, it's almost impossible to get a level And swing right up. now, a 0 2 pitch count. And waiting for something you can handle a little better. And he With another strikeout. On the fastball, one gun. Jesus Sucre will stand in for the first time now, hoping to break out of this little seven game dry spell at the plate. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. They just keep hitting the ball off of us. So it's going to be 
Meaning it will probably be in the triple A a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. To change his fortunes a bit as he's seen that average dip these last four or so games. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. It's one and oh. Swung on and missed. One and one. You can hit the low fastball, but you're not going to hit that one up there. You can just forget about it. Double play. Bring that thing down. To second for one. Back to first and a great stretch there made. Dean Ash will stay And we in. now have a five run lead going on. Last ball game. There's a Got three ball more runs from the last inning. For ball one. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball. One and one. Ah, changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it one and two now and that's exactly where you want to put that thing start it right down the middle and trust that it's action will cause it to drop fastball swung on and missed for the first out Dustin Ackley will dig in again got one out and grounded out to start and the many home. more to go and here's a fastball called for strike one bases are empty one man out Having success with a fastball and here, another strike. Now. And sometimes you got to cut down a little bit. I'm sure we had another strike out right there. Hard. Either you take that leg kick completely out of the equation, or you get it started just a little bit quicker. Still sticking with the fastball, but this time he lays off. It's one and two. There we go. Missed four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Abraham Almonte will stand in here hoping to at least put a ball in play here this inning. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one and it's strike one. And even with two outs, this is a team that can still put something together here. Especially in this part. Got two we'll out. To leave it there as the play is made here to oh, end. Three innings. I mean three out. Starting the fourth Arnold inning. Arnold Savage will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Oh one. Savage. Oh, got him to swing out of his sure on that one. Nothing in two. And on 0 and 2. And hopefully we get one right here. On the strike zone. And strike three. For the first down. Jesus Montero will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Fastball. My goal is to make this pitcher like Randy Johnson. You know what, guys? I have been really impressed so far. Not only has he used his fastball well, but he's also spotted it well. I mean, that Unfortunately, is location, he will never be right like Randy Johnson knee. because there's no pigeon to kill. And now this is swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Shuck will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Nick Franklin will try it again. Set down on strike two this out. time. And we still have that five-run lead here. What are you doing? You just had to throw the ball. And he's gonna make it up the second that was, safely as he's in there. That was just bad. Ken Yamaguchi will dig in here. A called third strike his first time. Duncan is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Jesus Sucre will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. And that misses inside 1 0. Oh. The pitch count there. One pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it should be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. Changed up on him here, and this is grounded to short. And a good throw gets him one go. Now, one out, two left to go in the inning. Carlos Trienfeld. We'll dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. And he takes ball 1. Not a good pitch at all. But that's okay. We can rebound. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's 1 and 1. That's one of those fastballs that just never feels like it's going to be a strike. It's up at the letters and that's a tough one to do anything with. Couldn't lay off that time and it's 1 and 2. And did he yeah, we got him. A look down, and yes, he went around. It's strike three. That's a sign of a guy who's really learning how to pitch. I mean, look at this location on one and two. No need to try and blow him away with a high fastball. This is right on the outside corner at the knees. No chance to get that one. 
got two out. Dean Ash is in with two away as he takes a ball. And it's getting a little bit difficult well, to throw a pitch here. Good inning right here, and you see the pitch count. It's not even close to being a factor just yet. Swung on and missed. One and two now. He's One more pitch. Up, putting up yet another zero. Ball two. Oh, this is a spot where it helps to have a two-seam fastball like that, so you can work in on the right hand. Hit. And there we go. There, as this is strike three, and that will retire. Dustin Ackley will come in now to begin their half of the sixth, and it's been a struggle for them so far. Just three hits through the first five innings. And that's certainly not going to be enough to get the job done. And as the scoreboard bears out, if they want to get back in this game, I think Zero this two is pitch the count. that it needs to start happening. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Still sticking oh, with the fastball, I thought for sure this time get that one. Off. It's one and two. This guy's not hitting over 300 by accident. He's got a very good knowledge of the strike zone, and he knows when to lay off. Good fly ball. Calgary is to his left as he puts One it away in the down. alley for the first out of the inning. And I'll tell you, I like the way he's handling himself left to go. out there. He's going after guys. He's working ahead in the count. He's keeping the ball around the plate. All the things you want to see in a young pitcher. Chased out of the zone there, and he's down two strikes. For that man right there, you need look back only to his last start to see a performance man, like the one oh, he showed here sure so far. We get him. Well on his way to another great was a little outing. too early for that. that's what you get when you mix your speeds and throw a lot of strikes. Got him. There we go. Eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. Well, this is one of those situations where his guys got him the lead early on, and he's been in complete control ever since. I mean. He's barely been threatened now. Arnold Savage stands in as he swings and misses for strike That's gonna one. That's going to be a ball. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Thought for sure it was going to be, but he made contact. Two men out. And he's got himself and another got one him. as he picks up strikeout number nine here in the side. Jesus Montero will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. And he just keeps rolling along. Got he one. another batter out with strike one. If I didn't know any better, I think this was his first inning out there. Got two. Still throwing the ball with a lot of velocity. Now he changes up on him with success. Couldn't do anything with that one. It's 0-2. And now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And that's going to be a third one. Time, one gun. Nick Franklin will stand in. He reached on an error last time through. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. You have to say, they've really had a good game plan for attacking the 3-4-5 hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think Got that 0-2 pitch count. The only than a game plan has been the execution Gonna try of to strike game him plan. out here. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. And this is swung on and bounced Oh, on the better. Turn. He just oh, misses he it. Up a bit. And the throw won't be in wow. time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. See, I shouldn't be taking any points for that, like deduct points. That should be based on the fielder. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. And he takes strike two. Boy, I'll tell you, to be down 0-2 against a guy like this with the stuff he's got tonight, not a comfortable spot to be in. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Jesus Sucre is in for the third. All we got to do is put one more away and we're out of this one. inning. Yeah, he's definitely still bringing it. It's the seventh inning and we're still Yeah, that's going to be a hurt base run. Well, oh, it could have been. Carlos Trienfeld will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, that's been a long time coming. I don't think our pitcher is going to play all nine innings. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. And he looks at one in there, one and two. You're running out of chances here. It's the seventh inning. You can't let this rally go to waste. Just 
just does stay alive as this is fouled back. He'll try again, one, two. To two balls and two strikes now. Ooh, there's a tough one to take right there on a one and two pitch. Especially after fighting off... There, ah, uh, I thought for that. sure we are going to get him. a swing and he just fouls this one away. Here comes a 2-2. Two -two. Left field. Good fly ball. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Wouldn't surprise me if we're not in the Nets inning. Dean Ash will stand in to start out oh, there. Oh, they're half keeping the us in so far. Starter still out there, and he's definitely been a tough nut to crack. No, he's been dominant all game long. I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on. That's allowed him to not really worry about making a mistake. Got one out and, and a few more left to go. Yeah, he just keeps rolling right along. And shut out intact as you get a look at his line so far. Through seven and a third innings now, they've just not been able to mount any type of offense against him at all. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Boy, he is just wearing guys out with that two-seam fastball. I don't care if it's inside, outside, he's really hitting his spots well. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. And, and we got him. Caught him looking. Number 11 in the ball game. Got him looking. Will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And Pretty sure this would be the last inning that we're pitching. And they start him out away with a cold Because I highly doubt they'll keep us into the ninth. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And a change up that time. It's good it's fly ball. In the air out toward left. Shuck will wait on it as he tucks this one away to retire the side. Arnold oh, Savage. they're keeping us he in for all nine innings in so far. Of the night, as they'll try to do something to prevent being shut out. And whatever they've done for the first eight innings hasn't yielded a whole lot so far. So, good throw. And the offense that was a pretty good throw. throw. Too late, so a good effort that time, but it's an infield single. Jesus Montero will stand in, and they've been able to hold him in check so far. 0 for three to this point. Yeah, it's kind of surprising that he's been a non-factor in this one. Usually a major force in their offense. Now he took a big swing that time as he lifts a high one batter down. Up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. Nick Franklin will step in. A base hit in his last time. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. And that has been the comfort zone so far in this outing. He's just lived on that outside corner and it's paid big dividends for him. Out in front of it as this is pulled down the line to first. But this will wind up foul. It's still 0-2. Uh, and and we got him. Right now and even does One more batter left to go. Ken Yamaguchi stand in now as their last shot here with two away in the ninth. Yeah, just one final hurdle here before he finishes off the shutout. Here comes the 1-0. -oh. And he won't bite it. Oh, come on. And he'll try and throw some bad pitches here. Pitches. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. And this offense has just been stuck in neutral. Even All right, we got two two pitch the count. Inning, they've got nothing to go with it. Swing and we got and him. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, we've talked Gotten about our shutout. Throughout this game. Gotten our he win. Was completely in charge, essentially from pitch one. And now he finishes off a masterful performance here, getting the complete game shutout. Time for one final one check final of the line score. And we'll take a look here. Uh, okay, next time when we pick up, we're going to be done with the month of May and start with the month of June, probably finish the month of June. And we'll be, by that stage, hopefully called up. Hopefully we'll get called up and see if we're in the big league. I know there's quite a bit for rotation-wise. 
Oh, it won't be that long. If we can increase our overall, we could pass Tyler Skaggs and get called up. So, there's a great chance that we could do that. In fact, we're going to try to upgrade what we can. Seeing if this is going to even matter. Let's take a look at our comparison. Oh, we're now a 75 overall with that adjusted overall. So the next time when we get back, the chances are we're going to get called up to the big league as a rotation. But this is a good stopping point for now with MLB The Show 2014 with our boy Slim Jim. I'm not your average gaming Joe, and I want to say thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.